Right, I know a lot of the 30 year guys don't like this um, Evo stick flash band, uh, but it's just something I had lying around. So I've uh, run some of that along the back of this porch roof. Uh, you can see the lead flashing is going to come back down. In a minute, we're going to use the fiberglass onto here. Hopefully, that'll work. Now, here's a bit of this flash band that. I've left an off cut and you can just see if it... <clears throat> but that's been there an hour just lying there haven't been pressed down at all Right guys, we've had our very first go. We've um, used this um, tape or bandage to go along the edges, on the joins, and along the back edge. What I did find out early on is how quick this stuff goes off, even if you mix it at 2%. It is a hot day today actually, 20 degrees. Um, goes off quick. What you find is that your hands get sticky and everything starts sticking together and it all becomes a bit of a gets into a bit of a nightmare because you're working against a clock as well anyway that's do it yourselfing and uh, that's the fun of it really so uh, we're letting this stuff go off gonna have a cheese sandwich and then we'll come back and have a go at doing these big decks <clears throat> The, uh, I don't know if the DIY wires get um, the stuff with the furry end on it, but to um, be quite honest, Stu, I don't know how we're supposed to work with this, but there we are, you know, we've got the job's got to be done, so we'll work with what we got. This is thick as hell, it's like using a duvet. Okay, so they give the DIY customers the stuff with the ragged edge, but no problem. We used our uh, chalk line to mark a nice straight line.
right guys well that was very exciting I must say we've um, yeah I've just taken my goggles off which Stuart Crompton recommended so that's common sense really latex gloves something I didn't quite understand with the mixing of this is why it says 5 kg on a gallon can why why not just put five liters would that not be easier so that when we're, we're dealing 100, 100 grams of the catalyst I, I don't get it seems to be a cross contamination here of the uh, uh, of the measures um, but anyway we got it on there the thing with this um, Presumably I chose that myself and uh, for, for whatever reason, but 600 grams seems very thick. It was like using, it was like having a duvet on there and of course as soon as you bung the resin on it just soaks it up. So what looks like a lot, suddenly you haven't got enough. Um, Stuart's stuff was thinner. Does it normally come like this? Do you normally have to trim the edges off? I don't know. But, Anyway, it was all very exciting, good bit of DIY uh, experience. Right, that's all sanded down now, so that's our finish ready for um, the resin, the top coat. There are a few places where the um, where we got bubbles, yeah, tiny little bubbles. Uh, being my first go at fiberglassing, you see, there's a few dry places at the back where I didn't manage to slot the resin up there. So this is this is a DIY version of what can go wrong, things you want to improve on second time. Um, this. The flash band is going to keep this stuff fairly waterproof, I would think. The flash band comes down and to, to this line here. So by the time we put the top coat on, I think that will probably get it all. So it's all sanded down. Hopefully tomorrow will be a dry day and we can finish the job. Right, the job's done. It's been raining this morning. Um, everything looks great. No leaks, so I think we'll call that a job done. Uh, this was here to replace the lead which was stolen off this little flat roof. This is 2018 after all. People are desperate. 
The lead had been here for 80 odd years. Somebody came along one night and pinched it, along with s several other houses in the street, it's fair to say. Um, so this is a perfectly easy DIY job. Uh, you get your um, resin, the catalyst, and the fiberglass matting, and uh, away you go. It's dead easy, really, nothing to it. Go to the pound shop, get lots of uh, very cheap brushes, buckets, rollers, everything you've got is only going to last 20 minutes, and then it's uh, rock hard. So, um, if that's helped any of you, even if show you how not to do it, well, there we are. It might, might have uh, given you a bit of a clue what to expect. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be very nice, and uh, you'll also then be able to see what we do next. Thanks for watching.